Hi everyone, I'm John Michael, one of the writers and moderators of the IGN Entertainment Strategy Guide Wiki for the new SimCity. This video will show you how to take advantage of the new gambling specialization. The gambling specialization is the easiest um, specialization to get into. All you need is a few commercial buildings in your city and you're pretty much ready to go. But the tricky part of the gambling specialization is timing. Um, if you get into it too early, you'll make a loss. I mean, it's gambling for a reason. Um, you, Unlike the other specializations, your incomes are not assured, and there's every bit of a chance that you'll actually lose it. Now, um, to get into the gambling specialization, all you have to do is go to the City Specialization button, choose the last tool, and start laying down some casinos. Now, um, in the city I've got here, we've already got a gambling HQ placed. Usually these three casinos here, the advanced casinos, are locked until then. But um, just for demonstration purp purposes, I'll show you how not to do it. Now, um, the whole uh, catch with casinos is that they all require a certain type of gambler. So we've already laid down a few gambling houses here, which are the default cheapest casinos. And by clicking on it, you can see how well it's doing. This one's doing pretty well, and I'm gaining t over 23000 a day in profit um, for this gambling house. And uh, there's a breakdown of the numbers, including how many uh, tourists and gamblers it can hold. And you can see here that, for example, this casino can hold 100 low wealth, to low wealth tourists and 110 medium tourists. Now... Um, it's easy to get into because your own sims in the city count. So because this is the first city of a new region, just about everybody here is low wealth, but there are some medium wealths as well. And so the early gambling houses are working. You can see this is my other one. This one also is earning 23000 a day in profit. And when you click on a gambling house and look at the pop-up box, the number here is for that gambling house only. So as you can see, the exact number for this one is 23,988. The exact number here is 23,840. But if you look in the bottom right corner, you can see my profit per day is only 18,000. Well, that's because I've laid down a third casino over here next to an underwater road. Don't ask me how I triggered that glitch. I'm not entirely sure how I pulled it off, but anyway. As the cars jump into the little mini pond here to go home, we click it, and you can see I'm losing $29,590 per day in the Sleek Casino. That's because the Sleek Casino is designed to accommodate a lot of low wealth tourists, medium wealth tourists, and about 100 high wealth tourists, and that's before modules. So I'm losing more money in this casino than either one of these is making me. And so this casino is obviously a big drain on my resources. It would be better for me to just bulldoze it. And this is where we get into the tricky part of the casinos and the whole gambling specialization. Because this is the only city in this region, it can't draw tourists from nothingness. It requires other cities. So the tricky part with the gambling specialization, therefore, is if you use it in your very first city of a region, you won't see the maximum profit potential. Besides, even if you have a lot of, say, normal gambling houses, and, I, and say I fill the entire uh, peninsula here with nothing but gambling houses, it still won't be able to draw all the maximum capacity because I only have so many people in my city. So let's uh, move on to a city where it's actually working correctly for me. So here we are in one of my more established cities in a region that has about eight cities in it, I believe. Um, now, I'm not quite operating a full peak right now. I only have 100,000 citizens in the city, but as you can see, I have a strip of casinos here. This one's making 12,000 a day. This one's making 13,000 a day. Uh, this one's making 5,000 a day. You have two more near the highway. That's making 14,000 a day. And that one, for some inexplicable reason, is losing 2000 a day. But that's quite a lot of cash. Obviously, the gambling HQ is happy. And you need to have a lot of low-level casinos like this until you have enough tourists coming in that you can afford some of the bigger ones. So, in fact, now I'm just waiting for uh, the money to come in, and then I'll be able to start building the advanced casinos. 
So that's all there is to it. The best way to advance from here is just to make sure you have enough transportation coming in. Not only are we hooked up to the highway, but I have a municipal bus terminal here, passenger train here, and the Great Work site is in the process of building an, inter an international airport. And all of that combined will give a huge intake of tourists, a huge intake of money, and the city will be set for life. So that's how to go about setting up a gambling uh, specialization city. Um, I'm John Michael. Keep watching IGN Entertainment for more tips and tricks for the new SimCity. Bye, guys.